The Glazed Donut Smash Burger. Is it good? Is it great? Is it a gimmick? To tell you the truth, I don't know because I've never had one. But Sean the Camera Guy has been making them for his friends and apparently a lot of them like them. So we're gonna make one today. I'm gonna try one for the first time and I'm gonna let you know if I think it's good, if it's great, or it's a gimmick. And we're also gonna get the opinions from some of our fellow Americans. So let's get camping and let's get cooking. <laughs> All right, Sean, the camera guy, I asked you for a grocery list and you gave me three ingredients, okay? So we've got ground beef here. Is the 80-20 gonna work okay for the glazed donut smash burger? Yeah, we want that high fat content for the extra flavor. Okay, I got two different types of glazed donuts here. I got the Walmart brand glazed donuts and I got Krispy Kreme because I wasn't sure which one you wanted. Which one do you wanna use for the smash burger? So I've actually tested this with three different kinds of donuts, the Walmart donuts, the Krispy Kreme donuts, and actually Wawa Donuts. Wawa. <laughs> Not everybody knows what Wawa is, but to us here in the Northeast, it's like our religion. Yeah. All right, so, so which ones are we using today? Um, I, I prefer the Krispy Kreme. Right. Um, I think that they're the best, but the, I think they all worked well. Let's roll with the Krispy, Krispy Kreme because they're like widely available. Everybody can use them. And then the American cheese. Are we good to go with Kraft Singles American? I actually prefer white American, but I know I forgot to tell you. Dude, and... I asked you what you <laughs> wanted. All right, so in the, I, the ideal version of this recipe is white American, but we're gonna have to roll with these Kraft Singles, these American. We actually have a fourth ingredient here. We're gonna season up our burgers with the Blackstone Whiskey Burger Seasoning. And Sean, you say that this is like the secret ingredient here. You think that this takes it over the top, right? If I was gonna say what the number one ingredient was, besides maybe the, the donuts donut themselves. The yeah. smash burger. The whiskey burger seasoning is what takes this over the top. It is the must have ingredient here. I actually wanna try one of these directly on a glazed donut to see how they go together. So let's, let's do that and take a bite. Cheers. That is so good. It's good? <laughs> I'm, I'm kind of shocked that it's so good. That worked. I dare you out there, can't put it more. I dare you, try it, it worked. So good. All right, next step is to cut our donuts in half. I thought we would use a full donut on each side of our double smash burger. Sean insists the best way to do it is to cut the donut in half. And be very gentle with the donut. They are easy to crush. You do not want to crush your donuts. All right, okay, I'll be careful with my man hands and I'll do the old Puglisi spin and cut technique. As always with smash burgers, let's set our black stones to stun. We want high heat, at least for that initial smash. Then you might want to turn it down a little up to you, but they're going to cook up fast. Let's put down a little bit of oil on the griddle top and then get some on the back of our spatula so that our spatula does not stick to our burger after we smash. I didn't bring wax paper. I don't really use wax paper because when I do get it, I always forget to bring it anyway. I'm gonna put down all six of our smash burger balls right on top of the burner and I'm gonna smash them up right away. They're gonna cook really, really quickly, so keep a close eye on them. No chatting, no conversation while you're making smash burgers. Stay focused. Once I flip them, I'm gonna immediately put the cheese on each of the burger balls and then I'm gonna close the lid for just like 10 seconds to get the cheese completely melted. Let's double them up right on the griddle top so they are easier to plate right on top of our sliced glazed donuts. And now it is time to eat and decide if they are good, great, or a gimmick. All right, Camp Griddlemore, we're calling this the glazed donut double smash burger, okay? The glazed donut double smash burger. Sean warned me it's gonna be messy. I gotta be honest, it looks good. We're deciding if it's good, great, or a gimmick. I'm gonna be honest with you, I really thought I was gonna call this one a gimmick. This is not a gimmick. I mean, it's like a thousand calories, so I don't know how often I would cook it, but it's not a gimmick. So let me take another bite and decide if it's good or great. Out of all the smash burgers out there in the world, I, I can't say this is great. I've had so many great smash burgers in my life. I would say it's very good, and I don't wanna hedge, because I'm the host of the show here. I gotta decide, good, great, or gimmick. So I'm gonna go with good. This is really, really good. All right, Sean the Camera Guy, you gotta dive in here for a bite. This episode was your idea. You have been making these. Time for you to come taste one, okay? Now, I know I'm biased to this, but... You also, you gotta remember, like, you were using white American. Mm. Are you okay You're just using the standard American, the yellow American? Or do you have to have white American? This is absolutely delicious. 
it is a messy burger. Um, you definitely need to like almost take a shower after like you're done eating it. jump in the lake after. Yeah, or when you're camping, yeah, exactly, jump in the lake. I'm gonna have to agree with Jeremy that it is good. It is definitely not a gimmick, but I don't know if I can give it great because I can't eat this every day. I would mostly eat regular smash burgers with this as a treat every once in a it's while. It's almost like a party thing, no? It's yes. almost like, oh, exactly. like a special occasion but, thing. But that makes it feel gimmicky, but at the same time, it's it's like it's not gimmicky. It's good. No, it is really, really, really good. It is like 90% there to great, in my opinion. All right, but something to do with friends for fun. Absolutely. All right, guys. You have to give it a try. Camp Griddlemore, we have taken uh, a poll of other Americans to see what they think about the glazed donut double smash burger. So let's throw it to the rest of America and see if they think it's good, great, or a gimmick. Let's hit it. Beautiful. Mm. So now, good, great, or gimmick? I think it's great. Great. Yeah, I, I think it's great because you get like a dessert and you get like a meal. And look at this. How can you go wrong with a protein packed donut? What are the calories on that bad, bad boy? Well, we calculated it. We're looking at like 900, 900 per calories burger. per burger. So, I mean, like you're looking at what? 50 grams of protein, 900 calories. You have two of these puppies. Great. I'm doing it myself. Now tell me good, good, greater gimmick. I guess it's good. It's good. I guess it's good. I think I'd prefer a regular bun. Really? Yeah. Yeah. Meh. Still burn your tongue off hot. Hot. Still really hot. But the heat helps melt the glaze on the donut. Now tell me good, great, or gimmick. I know that's your second bite. I think I'm gonna have to go great. Great. I think I'm gonna go great. I think great. Great. Mm. Is it better with that donut or with the Krispy Kreme donut? It is better with this donut than with Krispy that, Kreme. That donut. Yes. This donut, I think, is better than the Krispy Kreme donut. Shout out to Walmart. Very good. Very good. So it's not a gimmick. It's not a gimmick. And it's not bad, so it's good. It's good. Very it's good. not great, though. No, it's great. Oh, it's great. I didn't know that was my choice. Yeah, good, great, or gimmick? It's great. I think it's pretty good. It's good. Again? Yes. All right, now you gotta tell us. Good, great, or gimmick? Good. Good? Mm -hmm. Good, but not great. Good. 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 No, I'm gonna say good. good. It's not, definitely not great, but it's good. Really? It's good. Like, I like the flavor. But honestly, I don't taste the donut much. Like, the burger's really? just good. What do you got? Two patties on here? No, nah, it's great. It's a lot of burger. And it's good. So yeah, I don't know, that's good. I enjoy it. Here guys, be careful on a cutting board. Cut it, thank They're you. They're still hot. Looks delicious, but the question is, good, great, or gimmick? Very different. Very different. Yeah, very delicious, actually. And very delicious. So, so Dina, yeah. not a gimmick. I'm not a person who likes sweet and salty, but I think this is actually really good. I'm definitely not gonna say it's a gimmick, because it is really good. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure I put it as great, but I will give a higher mark than just good. So between good and great. Yeah, definitely. Really it is delicious. The upside down bite. Mm-hmm. So good, great, or again. It's not bad. It's good. <laughs> <laughs> she says about everything I do. <laughs> But it's not good or great. It's fine. Can I pick fine? No. Which one is the closest to? Good, great, good. Good, great, or gimmick? Gimmick. Gimmick.